You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and today I have a another fan favorite, Lynn Smith, <laughs> to come back and talk to us about what else other than Frederick Douglass Community Garden, but you have a new event. We have a new event. Spring is here. Mm -hmm. We don't care whether it snows one more time or not. Spring is here. Okay. So we had a wonderful cleanup in the garden last weekend. All of the young adults from the Boys and Girls Club came and worked so hard weeding, putting the garden in order, and we're going to have two special new little areas um, in the garden. You know Frederick Douglass Avenue runs from Main Street up to Warren Avenue. We're right in back of the Firestone Car Care and mm -hmm. Messiah Baptist. And we have one little corner in the garden that's dedicated to Carl Yancey, you know, the young man, yes. panda man who lost his life. And we just created another corner in the garden that's going to be a cottage garden, sort mm. of like a meadow. And the environmental sciences class from Massasoit Community College are going to come and they're going to plant a hail peach tree mm. in that corner. It uh, gets to about five or six feet high. It's self-fruiting, I think they call it, so you don't need two of them. And we thought we might um, dedicate that little corner to Reverend Lee Harmon. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so we, you know, it's a place of contemplation, this garden. No uh, veggies, but lots of flowers. So May 1st, we're going to celebrate spring and flowers, and we're having what's known as a plant and seed swap. So gardeners from South Shore Gardening Buy, Sell and Trade are going to come with seeds from their own gardens that they like to trade, kind of like baseball cards. Okay. And what they call bare root plants that they trade. And so it gives them an opportunity to talk shop, but also have variety in their own gardens. So they're coming. And then our friends from Good Samaritan Medical Center, they're so great in terms of their community outreach. Um, I don't know if you know Paolo Gomes, but I do. Uh, I sure he's do. in the community area, so he's coming. And we're going to do a table on protecting yourself in the sun. You know, skin cancer does not discriminate. doesn't matter whether your skin is black, brown, or white. You have to be careful about the harmful effects of the sun. You have to pay attention to hydration. You have to pay attention to heat stroke. So they're going to come with some information, some screening materials, some free giveaways, I think some sunscreen or some lip balm. And because they're promoting health, healthy living and especially preventive um, maintenance for us, they've given the garden a grant and we're going to put a sun sale a shade structure over one corner of the garden so when people come and visit the garden they have a pr place um, out of the sun. Because you do definitely have to protect yourself, especially people like me <laughs> that do. have to either slather themselves with sunscreen or put on a hat. That's or right. both. Or both. And you know, especially the young people that volunteer in the garden, they, they of course, they think they're going to live forever. Right. I think as we get a little older, we are more careful, but the young people, we have to pay attention to. So Good Samaritan Medical Center cannot say enough great things about them. They're going to come and give out information. South Shore Gardening Buy, Sell and Trade uh, will come and do some swapping. The Brockton Garden Club will be there. They'll be at a table just to answer your questions. They are the They're nicest so people and I gotta do a shout out to them because they've helped us at the public library for years. Yep. They've done all sorts of things for us at the public library um, with with plantings and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, you have lots of partners. I'm looking at this poster. Yeah. You got Boys and Girls Club, you got the farm at Stonehill, you got the L Love Alliance. Church, okay. Yep. Sure. Everybody's involved in what you're doing. You've gotten mm -hmm. them all involved. This garden has grown mm -hmm. Tremendously over yeah, the years, it's, and it's a it's, it's, it's a little nice slice of heaven in downtown Brockton. Yeah. It looks very different now. I'll tell you, when I went down and saw the the Kresge building gone today and drove by, I hadn't seen the full size or impact of how big that 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 corner is. And as as sad as it is to lose the facade, 
maybe it's going to be a growth and a rebirth. I yeah. mean, you you guys have been promoting that area and promoting everything so well. Um, I, I think this I think this is great. That is the world's busiest weekend. There's so much on the I 30th, know. And so much on the first. But I know. Um, you, people are going to go from one event to another. So how do people find out about more information and, and more? Perfect. So we set it up for May 1st, which is a Sunday. It's in the afternoon from 12.30 to 3, kind of right after church services mm -hmm. um, get out. We have a Facebook page, which is Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association. We have a website, Douglas, with two S's, douglasbrockton.org. The, the volunteers at the farm at Stonehill will be bringing seedlings. Mm -hmm. So we have seedlings to give out to people. And we have a person from Taunton who is a beekeeper. Wilbur's Apiary is going to come and talk about the stress that our bees are under mm -hmm. in terms of some of the chemical uh, that we use not only for sprays but for fertilizers. So we'll have some giveaways like for the first 50 people we have some free gardening gloves and we have packets of seed. Um, honey will be for sale but I think it starts at um, two dollars. Mm -hmm. um, the garden club will answer questions. Good Samaritan will answer um, questions. Our volunteers from the Boys and Girls Club will be there. We are hoping that our students from Massasoit will be there during the event to actually plant the mm -hmm. peach tree, which I think will be lovely. So the garden has really turned into a true community effort. We put the welcome gates back up that the Wave kids from Baywib uh, did, so they're back up, and the little free library is stocked and ready to go. Well, sounds like a wonderful event. I'm glad you're sharing with us. You're welcome back anytime Great. to continue to tell us about all the wonderful events you have, and uh, who knows, we might have you here under a, a different hat from time to time. Well, if we're going to talk hats, when you come, wear one to protect yourself in the sun. Sounds great, Lynn. Thank right. you very much. Thanks, I appreciate Mark. it. Um, you're watching Great New Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.